Ibo mwane genti, aye kene unu azo. Popo sing, uwuro chinke tata. Aye si unu dalu bin nene umi ife. Kuni si wene si wole ni ene me. Ni ilu akuko na Eastern News 24. Aye si unu bosin keta yadere na ena mma. Aye si kwa na aye yadike echi neche ada agu agu. Otu aye kuro otu ako yadere ni. Ise, ise, ise. Aye di ko si di, di ka isi kwa unu kwa ni ilu akuko. Na ike nene yunu yabu update chubo basta makife ne me no buda. Ano basta makamuro wa na azo. Em, owo li fe, ayo te lu ni ilu akuko. Di ka isi kwa unu kwa. Ia abu nuku update. Eh, basta makakwo si ade. Mako wako de, yobu na yade nyunu update tibu yife neme na webuda. So abu yaka ijiwe simba. Na yama mbankete. Ke yene menu. Na yagene nyunu update. Kuno na maku usi ada. Kwa usi miri si abu opi obo goro. Genu ti kuno nife. Wana yi wode gwa yi niru akuko. Ige siya bi yife. Dura pola yi on comment. Niru akuko basta maka yenda ni inu hunga si di chiche. Alright, over to you sir. Of the here, I just want to report something to you. No, I can't. You will be interrupting my broadcast doing that. I can't. Okay, uh, I will send maybe you I can do that after the program. Okay. What's up? Oh, I send it. See, uh, my is, of the world, uh, if you call it into the program and you don't want to have a, an open conversation and all that, please send me a message, okay? And then uh, I will see that. But I can't. I can't leave my program or do something else and having a chat with somebody off my program. So when you call in, you are calling in to, to contribute to the chat here. So yeah, Baba, I will look out for your message, okay? And then we'll probably, you know, talk uh, off air. Uh, all right. So I picked pick this up also on my way. And it is, uh, I'm thinking of using that later, but I will show you anyway. So this one is, meanwhile, the, the line is now opened, okay? So um, it is uh, in Kano, right? And that is uh, Peter Obi and his uh, team meeting with the Emir there. That's what they had to say. Listen. Let me okay, I think I have um, a color I don't want to put on old. Let's see. Hello there. Hi, good afternoon, Michael. Oh, Lady Charm, is that you? It's me. Yeah. And I good think afternoon. it's morning over there, right? So, afternoon. Yeah, it's, it's, still, it's still morning. <laughs> it's still morning here. Right. So, um, huh. yeah, please. It's uh, our midday okay. show this afternoon, yeah. Go on. Yeah, I've been looking. I've been looking forward to the show. I've uh, thoroughly um, enjoyed your presentation. So the the soldier, the, so, the soldiers that are turning to Oklahoma, I don't see them as soldiers. In fact, I, I feel like maybe Nigerians need to understand, or people need to understand that we're at war, and the war is against the citizens of that country. Nigeria is not a real place. That's, you know, listening to your show more and more and more has me, you know, I truly believe, thoroughly believe that Nigeria is not a real place. And because it's not a real place, the people are not, people, the, the people in charge don't see them as real people. We don't matter. You know, we don't, we don't matter. Because like you said, if you saw your neighbor, regardless of tribe and religion, that that's a so-called fellow Nigerian. The last thing you do is to open fire on them, on people who are defenseless, who are not armed, who have no, who are doing, who, who have no intention. You are a soldier, you are trained. Yeah, 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 you're, you're, well, you're supposedly, so supposedly you're, you're trained. Don't return fire. That, now it's already here, but like I say, it's only in America. Yeah. No, um, it's only it's only in America, and like you like you've uh, highlighted in your, in your in your program, right? They only feel threat, this kind of threat against civilians, against um, defenseless civilians, women, men, and children. But the real threat to the the real threat to the the country and its people go unchecked. You have the terrorists. You know who are like you said today. They've, they've, they've captured another eighty-one people. 
right? Mm -hmm. Nobody is challenging them. Mm -hmm. uh, 87 people. Nobody has gone after them. Nobody has bombed where because they stay. Nobody has they burned their to, villages. They don't want to kill women and children in captivity. So they have to make give it time. Oh, they, they, well. it doesn't, that, that doesn't make any kind of sense. You don't want to kill women and children in captivity, but you have, you are, you are, you're happy to kill women and children that are not that in you, captivity. That, <laughs> that are not in captivity so make it make sense it, because it makes absolutely no sense right i refuse to look at those soldiers as uh, as victims they're not victims if they're victims they're victims of their own foolishness and their own greed because that is what sent them there it's also because they were at peace or, or wanted to propagate any kind of peace on that community no. they didn't go there for that they went there to kill and to to destroy and they got destroyed in the process so I don't see them as victims. I don't, I don't see them as any kind of heroes. They're certainly no heroes of mine. Yeah. Right? Yes, so I'm, you, I'm so sorry that, that the they... community can easily, right now, use the momentum and release the names and images of the people killed by this soldier. So let the whole, uh, the, the whole uh, what do you call it, the whole expose, the balance uh, of that. Because they have been writing my the news. Oh, they, ah, they kill soldiers. Ah, the, exactly. They kill soldiers. That, ah, the uh, entire community must be killed. My, my, my stomach but, has been but you see, days now. Like, how could anybody even say, see, go and kill the entire my community? Ego. My ego, yeah. me and you, like, we're, we're kind of similar because ever since I heard that news of, of what happened in Okoma and, and the, 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 the other community, like it nothing made, nothing, nothing happened, nothing made any kind of sense. How would fully armed, well-trained military people, how did they get to the point of being disarmed and, you know, killed, right? What led up to them being there in the first place? What was the interaction? What kind of interaction did those people have with the people, with that community before such a thing happened? You know, one domino doesn't fall before the other one. Well, something started, something happened first to set up those chain reactions. So nothing just happened isolated they like want that. want us to believe that nothing really happened. They went there for peace and they were attacked. Yes. How? How? No, they, they didn't go there for peace. And clearly the people who have, uh, who witnessed it are saying, are, are saying it as it happened. And I believe at, and I believe them. I believe them. I believe them. Of course, I will believe them before yes. I believe anything Nigerian government or Nigerian military says ever. Absolutely, I will believe. I will believe them first, and I feel that they should wherever they are. They need to be protected because those are the kind of people that they will kill just to ensure that that stupid narrative that they want to put out there will will carry on. Now they are so-called king. Instead of you to call white white and and a black black for goodness sake. Your people were killed. Women and children, men were killed. These are your people. And you're talking about how this major was very helpful. Yeah. And who cares? Everything he still came there to perpetrate nonsense. Hmm. He still came there to kill people. He killed your people. And you're not talking about that because, again, this is the point, this is the point I'm trying to make. They don't see us as real people. Nigeria is not a real place. So, therefore, the citizens are not real. That's why you can come out and, and uh, you know, he was very helpful. He was so, you know, but he went there to kill your people, did he not? And he got killed in the process. He's They're not heroes of mine. Of soup, you know, like uh, before, but that's, before you but that's go, the problem. All they would do is one single order from Sheriff in uh, Asaba, and he's no longer king. <laughs> if they if that will satisfy <laughs> the people that are paying for their blood. And they are still there as we speak. Even he is speaking from a hideout, from a place far away from the place. Okay, so he's not even there. Oh, no, they're, they're that's, that, but... <laughs> that's why it's sounding, that's now. Tell it's you. sounding like oh, we are so regretful. We, you know, our people, uh, you know, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's, uh, see, those who said we, we, those who killed those soldiers could actually be militants, not those community men and women. They could be militants possible. in the area that reacted when they heard the news that they have killed or something like because killed, how did the community? With no guns, no nothing. The same Nigerian soldiers. Now you know what they are saying, Charm. They said, "Oh, the military went there unarmed. They just walk in to for peace talk." Abba. They are trying to spin okay, it and spin it and spin it. No, no, no. Let's let, let's make it make sense. So they walked in there for peace talks, yeah. and then yeah, they want to arrest women and children. Uh, 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 those people ended up dead. H how did they? Was it like magic bullets or magic guns, or or they just spoke and the people just died or something? right that was what happened people died right in the arms of these soldiers so don't come and tell us that they walked in there with no uh, unarmed and everything because you know based off of what people are saying like i said i tend to believe those people more than i'll believe, I will believe whatever um, the nigerian I'm army wants to be more than this uh, 
them more than whatever the media in Nigeria is saying, more than whatever the uh, the Nigerian government we is have, saying, even the military themselves. My, my, the part of the problem we have is a vacuum of leadership, of good leadership, and and and, and I think very moral characters. Mm. We do not have people who want to stand up for the truth in any way, shape, or form because okay, you're going to you're going to lose certain privileges, and maybe yes, to some extent, you might lose your life. But you have to ask yourself, maybe that's the price we need to pay. Unfortunately, as Nigerians, we made the biggest mistake in our lives by not standing for the truth. When people like Chinibu and Co were coming forward and people were questioning their, their, their legitimacy, questioning their validity and everything, people should have stood up in mass and said, okay, we don't want this kind, the kind of leaders. We were part of the problem. But, so in order for us to actually solve this problem, a lot of people need to stand up and say, you know what? We don't want these kind of leaders anymore. We don't want this kind of characters in our leadership. We have a serious vacuum of leadership, a vacuum of moral people in a, a in leadership position. Yes, and that is part of the problem. Like you there, said, it leads to corruption. Yeah, everything starts from what, who your leaders are. And it's already taken just a year, right, to show to Nigerians that you can't have a drug dealer, a drug lord. You can't. As your if, president, if you expect your country to actually be functioning normally, like everything normal. normally. No, not not just even a drug dealer. A thief. Somebody we, we, before Tinubu, we had people who were who a, a career kleptomania. Before Tinubu, you still have people in leadership who were still stealing. It's just because now he's is magnified. You can all see, maybe because of the advent of internet and things like that, all of this information is outside there. So we see it. We can we cannot bury our heads in the sand. Do you understand? But this kind of stealing did not start today. No. And like you said, uh, those criminals have been elevated. And I'm sorry to say, on passenger, I heard what he said about when somebody asked him about OD, right? He still beat his chest like, yes. You know, that, was, like, that is not what he should have done. Who will agree with Thomas Ojo? For the rest of their lives, and there's nothing you can uh, say. To that them. Is, you, you don't kill innocent citizens just because soldiers died. Do you know? You Cham, don't kill Cham, innocent you know, citizens sorry because to you soldiers shot, died. Right? Cham, do you know that this OD that you just mentioned? I, I I left something out earlier, right? Do you know that this OD Obasanjo was actually found guilty, but it was it couldn't his government was actually found guilty for that massacre, and the Nigerian government had to pay out 27.5 billion naira compensation. To the survivors, mm. it's on record. But today he is saying, record, but he's, he has no regrets. He's saying that that's what he, he has, has no regrets. Regret. You he should have regrets, and that is part of the problem. Like you said, when the Biafra um, genocide happened, yeah. all of the people who were culpable were not held responsible. Instead, they were what they call they were rewarded. They were rewarded. Some of them are still working alive today. Yes, they are the same as the Nazi Germany, German uh, yeah. black people. They should have faced the same um, what they call yeah. it international. Um, they should have been taken to the court of hate because they should have been they tried for war people. crimes, crimes they against humanity. They should have been tried for war crimes, but they did, but they did do that, and, and that is why they have the, the audacity to start to tell you that beat your chest and say what you did was yes. was not regrettable. It was solely regrettable. Innocent people died; they should yeah. not have died. Yeah. And the same way with the Biafra um, yes. genocide, those people, my people, should not have died. No, they should not have been killed and in such a manner. That they died. Some people were supposed to be held responsible, including their generations exactly. to come. But no, no. including their generations to now come. Now, to somebody is supposed to be uh -huh. called a oh. statesman. A statesman. He is a statesman for uh -huh. goodness sake. That's a, Nigeria is not a real place. Not. It is not a real place. No. Let me let other people. Bless oh. you, Jerry Charm. Thank you very much for uh, joining us. But I'll take another one. Yeah. Okay. Um, hello. Hello, my ego. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine, my ego. Very well, thanks. Yeah, this is this is Kenneth from Maryland. <laughs> Ken, how are you today? Yeah. I'm good. Are you? used to call directly this uh, this morning. Oh, did I wake you? <laughs> Oh, no, on the contrary, I'm already awake. <laughs> you should be awake, exactly. So, um, yeah, yeah, here we are. It's been a while, you know. I know. I know. So, I'm, um, I, I, let me add my own contribution a little bit. But yes. uh, like you always say, this is the temple of truth. And then uh, this place where everybody speaks their mind and makes their point. Mm -hmm. um, you see, um, like everything Cham said earlier, Earlier, um, few minutes ago, yeah, she's definitely on point. Uh, we are so much both at some of the points she, she laid out, which 
for me, somebody who has been in the military before can uh, uh, can agree to some level that uh, uh, that it sounds it kind of looks a little bit weird. I've been in the military for a very long time, and I know that most of my job description there are mostly training and then uh, you know training and gathering of uh, some intelligence. So uh, hearing that a bunch of soldiers went to a place and get killed just like that, then it simply means that every training that they went through was does not make any sense to me. Because, yeah, because, uh, one of the things they train you in, so in uh, one of the training you, you will do, do is that um, they, there's what is called element of surprise. Mm. So in this element of surprise means that you just don't know where, when or how it's coming. It doesn't mean that if you are a, 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 a platoon, it doesn't mean that you will not suffer casualties if you are, if you are, if your your radars are at, at a lot. It simply means that if your radars are at a lot, it simply means you will anticipate that things could get, things can easily can get worse or from bad. Zero to one hundred within yes. one minute. Hmm. Yes. So the question, Mayugo, and I, I hope Chang is also listening in, is that. The question we should ask is, what exactly was the rules of engagement mm. on that mission? Do the, what was exactly the rules of engagement? Because then, once we're able to establish and understand that, then the next question is, if they are saying in their own world to my people, not, not me or anybody, is that they went there for peace. Okay, fine, I hear you. You went there for peace. There's no way any military that goes for a peace mission. They are at some point, my ego are not prepared for war are, because I've never seen that like military will go for peace, yeah. but they are not prepared for war. But Baba, continue, mm. yes, yes, they, they will at some somehow, my ego, even if they don't have that gun, which is visible for you to see, they are fully armed mm. to, to some extent. Mm. Is that those ammunition like two major generals or so one captain? No. Mm-hmm. It is not possible, my it is not possible. I, I can attest to that, ma'am. And that's why I, I said that what Sam said to so some extent, I completely agree with that to that large extent. Yes. Because you can't go to a place, a place that is already a black spot or already or that is already looking very dangerous. You can't go there with nothing armed. Now, it is only for the fact that we are asking. And my good, this is this is the thing I need I need you to put forward to them that right. we are asked to say what exactly was the rules of engagement? If you say you went there for the peace for peace mission, what exactly is the rules of engagement that they went there in the first place? So if they cannot answer that question clearly and so that give us clarity on it, then it's very suspicious exactly why they were there in the first place. You know? So um and for trying that are they at war? I don't really have to walk. That's another thing. I don't think they have to walk. Even, even if that was the case. Uh, to war, the best thing is for the authorities not to take side, Abi, now, to make sure that there is neutrality. Exactly. Eh? Exactly, my ego. So, that's is that, the, that's the, that's the, that the people there are already aware that the soldiers placed in that area are already compromised? Because mm-hmm. there's a record that uh, they are actually being uh, used. By this uh, Okoloba politician, I'm still trying to find his uh, real identity, right? And it's so prominently yeah. sort of mentioned that since this politician has this control in Abuja, mm-hmm. so he could just easily, mm-hmm. just easily just use those soldiers to either arrest the uh, the Okoma people, right? Uh, the young people, mm-hmm. feed them, arrest them, arrest them. So on this fateful day, when they came to their community for peace. It was probably like mm-hmm. an extent, let's say military is extending their hand of fire. I say, listen, let's meet with your leaders. Okay. We won't be treating you that way anymore. Something like that. Or, or for which peace? Because if it is peace, peace between the two communities, now the two communities supposed mm-hmm. to be the town hall, not the people of uh, Oklahoma and then the soldiers. Abi, Ken. Yeah. So something I, 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 is I'm not I, right. I good... As shady as it is. But, but... Mm-hmm. This is civil. This is civil. It's called civil crisis. It's not a war. It's a civil crisis between two factions or two two two, two, two or three entities in the community. Mm-hmm. This is not war at all. Mm-hmm. 
Because they are not... But the way I look at this is this. Is that power, power play is going on here. It's just a typical textbook, my ego, of exactly what has been happening to these communities during Obasanjo, Joe, during uh, 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 Jonathan, or during all these people. They, they are, it's the same playbook. I can, I, my, please enlighten me here. Mm. Can you, can you, can anybody explain to me in a simple term, like in a simple language, when a community are having this kind of situation and you are getting the military involved in, a, in something that is no, way it's, outside it's only in Nigeria. It's, it's see, there's no there's no cracking of brain to answer that uh, question. Nigeria has no policing system at all. Okay, so it has collapsed to the point that the military are now providing internal security. An example is what we have now seen. Uh, exactly. it, is, it is Nigeria, Baba. So, <laughs> so to, 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 to really, really just narrow down the whole case, is this my goal? You see, what, what is happening there is a clear case of a situation where you, you, you know fully well what is going on there. You know that. This is a situation. It is like it's like chicken time bomb. Why don't you treat the treat, treat the, the whole thing like a stable to a stable matter and let the people, the leaders of this fraction, you understand? Create what is called more less like what, you, what maybe something like, like a ceasefire. That's okay. Okay, hold your hold your guns, hold your Can you so just, The story has changed. I, 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 oh, I know I'm coming to the soldier part. I'm coming to the soldier you part. You know what I mean? Okay. You see the, soldier, the soldier part is political. That soldier part is a political uh, uh, aspect of it because that's what they are doing there, what the soldiers are doing there. Last I said, they have not answered the questions yet, Maribu, on that part. Until they answer that, those questions, those soldier part aspects, and for me, I still feel that it's still no, no, a hanging matter. I believe they are there unofficially. I can put my money on uh, that. Okay. That they were there unofficially, and uh, other things that are also followed. There were even those who said they went there to go and rescue kidnapped victims. And say, ah, bah. You know, look for which of these lies go stick. What are those people doing That's there? And why did they open fire on the armless uh, civilians inside that town hall? Right? If you can't give us those yeah. answer, no manufacture more lies and we'll be looking for which one. But what they will do now. They that's keep exactly, manufacturing that's different, different that. stories, different, different lies, but, looking for which one will stick. Come on. Well, anyway, it is Nigeria. Yeah, but, yeah? Ken. But, but, but that's what they will do now. That is what they are trying to do. No, they want to go and they rescue. Will, they want to go and rescue kidnap so victims. Hapa. Hello. <laughs> In uh, Okoma. Ken, uh -huh. let me go take another one. Right? Oh, right, thank you. God bless thank, you. Thank you so much as well for your uh, calling in this morning. That is a Ken there. Uh, so from uh, Ken is from Maryland, I believe. Or have I mixed that up? Why do I keep thinking Ken is calling me from Chicago when he's actually from Maryland anyway? So we'll leave it at that. Now, oh, sorry, I just uh, missed your call. If you are the person who was trying to get through, I think you should keep trying, right? So we have a few of us who are on it this morning and this afternoon. So if you are one of us uh, right there on YouTube, uh, do you mind taking a minute or a sec, possibly, to go and uh, pay your offering, like the broadcast? That's all you need to do, all right? And uh, share it as well, you know? Uh, one second. Mark, get, Mark, get you back up for those who are trying to get on. Sorry about that. Here, I think I got this. Hello there. Yeah, good afternoon, my good. Good afternoon, sir. How are you, Baba? This is Adeza calling from Edinburgh. Did you say Ahmed? Adeza. Say that again. I, I didn't get it. Sorry. Hello? Adeza calling from Adeza. See, Baba, no vaccine. My, my speaker is a bit far from me, right? So if I don't pick it the first time, I hate using the wrong thing to address somebody when... Uh, I could easily just ask, could you please repeat that, right? Adiza, yeah. thank you very much, yeah. here, Baba. Here, how is Edinburgh this afternoon, cool. though? Edinburgh is cool. Always. The weather cool. is bright today. Always cool. I know. Small. Anyway, Baba, yeah. uh, yeah, thank you so much for to, joining. Oh. Go on. Yeah, I want to commend you for the good work you are doing. Thanks, Baba. Thank and, you. And um, 
this is my second time of speaking with you. I think so. Um, right. Anything called Abdeloma can only be found in our soil in Nigeria. Hmm. One, I think this is that if there is any internal clashes, police is the most appropriate people to deal with the issue. Hmm. When a leader makes a wrong decision, you get a wrong result. That's right. And mostly, most of these military men, either police or army, the political leader in those areas always use them against the people. God bless you, Baba. Because that's you one know, thing I want people to always yeah. not pretend that we don't know. We do know. Yeah. When you have these soldiers, yeah. military, yeah, the politicians in the area will corner them. Yes. And we know what happened. They will, get, go, on they will go to the office hmm. and see the Algas, yes. and Algas will collect money yes. in respect of the truth that is sent to that area. And they'll be there to act the, the, the script of their boss. They will actually go for the reality. Mm. Understand? Mm. We are in Nigeria. We know what happened. We do. And that is what actually happened from my own view of what I've been hearing. Mm. And secondly, I think that issue, I remember in Nigeria State recently, about other 20 or 30 people were killed. Yes. The governor came out to say they are going to negotiate. Yes. The, the soldiers are supposed to go and wipe all those forces. They never go to work the way they Now they are sending a community on fire. Two wrong cannot make right. Even if the people of uh, the community did wrong, must army go there and say the community at least? And uh, the president just made a statement that uh, they should fish them out, those who do that. But those who go and the community, who will fish them out? Now? Exactly. The soldiers that burned down the community yesterday yeah. and day before yesterday, what will now happen to them? Second issue is the issue of contract. I know before you award a contract to a particular organization, you do what is called due diligence. That's right. To see at least their five year financial record, if they have the capacity to execute the project you are giving to them. You want to know what they have been doing, if they have a relevant uh, job due, and which they're supposed to do present before the award, for you to know they are capable of doing it. This is the reason why many projects are awarded in Nigeria and they never be executed. No. Because when the third party collected the money, they will go to the re, the re company and get them a penny and the, the project will not start because of conclusion. Mm. So these are some of the reasons why you see that many projects in Nigeria does not see the light of the day. Okay, Baba. Mm. Finally, the issue of the Kaduna adoption, this arm is and they, since three weeks now, this issue has been coming from one area to the other. Now, the school they, that uh, they adopted to 87,000 uh, students, uh -huh. did that they look like a school? Even here, the people here, they will not allow their dog to stay in that type of building. Hmm. When they show it, it was an ISO, it's an international ISO. It, it, it's, it's all crack on the building. This is a place where human beings are staying. I know. The government has not done anything tangible to rescue the people. And there's Every no day, sign people that they are actually doing that to rescue them. No, there's no, there's no sign at all. And again, another people have been adopted. And you say you have army. This army that were even killed, are they pregnant women? They are so so poor, so 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 untrained, all professional that the community could, could, could actually kill them. Disarm them. You can see like, the type of uh, the type of military, the type of military we have in Nigeria. Sixteen of them, it's sixteen, 16 the, soldiers. The they told military. us that one soldier is for one thousand civilian. Is that not what they brag to us? That one soldier mm -hmm. is equal to 1,000 civilian. So 16, mm -hmm. 16 soldiers, mm -hmm. Inko? Yeah. Shouldn't that be like 16,000 mm -hmm. civilians? Or yet they got disarmed without shooting a single gun? Another issue I want to make mention was the issue of the Gumi. By now, if the country, I, 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 I hear you say something last week that uh, Gumi was uh, actually deported from uh, one of these Arab countries because of his role. Saudi Arabia. Now, these are the people that Nigeria celebrates. They have been making this comment on and on. Government never take these leaders to arrest him. No. Even Naibu Man now, eh, if I don't the jail. You remember that, uh, that uh, you remember that uh, uh, is a Lagos. That uh, is a that king around there. Is that who showed the Obola day? You remember that that one that said if uh, the Lagos state government will not protect Igbo traders in Lagos, mm. that it will invite. Yeah. IPOB to come and protect Igbo traders. And they twisted it and said, he said he was going to invite IPOB to Lagos. Do you know that man spent about a month and a half in Kirikiri? 
for that statement. Somebody that was like, uh, you know, all this ceremonial is in uh, areas like that, eh? Mm. You don't remember the story, Baba? No, I, I, I know about that. They, to this... and they took him to court to get his own bail right now. He spent over six weeks in uh, Kirikiri. Mm. Igbo man will open mouth and say something like that, ke? Uh -uh. And by that only, no, 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 Chitupe ni ya Eastern News 24 kaisi wene wote dono nupozi ya dokemba. Dano nungu 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 nung